Wouldn't it be amazing if there was a way to reverse engineer the keyword targets of your competitors? Wouldn't it be fantastic if you could reach into their mind and steal their ideas? Guess what? You can. In this video, I'm going to show you three tags, the title tag, the meta description tag, and the meta keywords tag by which you can literally steal the ideas of your competitors as you build out your keyword worksheet. Now, don't worry about what the tags do. That's a different topic. This video is about how to steal the ideas of your competitors using a little tag analysis. Let's get started. Welcome back. Uh, the code for this short little class is 59. So if you go to our website and put in jm-seo.org slash 59, uh, you'll get to all the class materials or click in the YouTube description. And of course, uh, I'm going to show you very quickly a little trick to reverse engineer your competitors keywords. So what we're trying to do is your competitors are going after hopefully a similar keyword target to yourself. You want to know what did they brainstorm? What were the ways that they thought through their keywords? And of course, if you call them up on the phone, they're not going to tell you. Uh, but fortunately, you can look at their website and you can tell pretty quickly what those targets are. Uh, so I'm going to go down here to my links and I'm just going to show you some quick examples here. So I built out a search. Uh, one of my favorite searches I use when I teach my classes, uh, motorcycle insurance quote. So here's my target search. So first thing to do is sort of, you know, brainstorm yourself. If you sell flowers, put in flower delivery. If you're a hypnotherapist, put in hypnotherapy, you know, Boston. If you, um, you know, it can be whatever. If you're a divorce attorney, put in divorce attorneys, San Francisco. Whatever some of those keywords are that you kind of know from brainstorming are your targets, put those in. Put those into Google and then, of course, Pay attention to the people who are winning. So this is the search motorcycle insurance quote. Progressive is our number one, our gold medalist, so to speak. Geico is our silver medalist and Allstate is our bronze medalist. And it would be awesome if we could just look at their website and say, you know, what did they think of as keyword phrases to target? So we're going to do that. So I'm going to right click here on progressive so I can have it in a new tab. So I'm going to look at my gold medalist here and I'm going to look at progressive. So here's the trick. You want to put your cursor somewhere in the right hand of the screen, right click or in Mac it's control click. So right click and go to view page source. I'll show you in a second how to do it on Internet Explorer. Uh, interestingly enough, it doesn't exist in the menus. So go view page source. So now you're in your source code and what you want to do is scroll through the source code and you're looking for three tags. This one is really nice because it's a very well written page. It's all nice and summed up. So we're going to look at our title tag first. And again, don't worry about what these tags do in terms of, H of HTML and SEO. We're not going to deal with that. We're just, hey, what did they think of? So open title, close title over here. Now what you want to do is be a Google detective and pay attention to how they wrote these tags. So motorcycle insurance, obviously. Quotes. So you say it's quote something we should have, you know, on our, I'm going to get my marker to cooperate here. I want to just draw a line. So quotes, I don't know, I just want to draw a line for me. So quotes for him. So now let's submit a description. Ride with America's number one. You've got to slow down and read these. Number one, motorcycle insurance and get more for your money even with our standard packages. Now let me go up here. I'm going to go view wrap long lines and get more for your money even with our standard packages. Start with motorcycle insurance quotes. So we have quotes singular, quotes plural. Now let's look at their keywords tag. Progressive motorcycle insurance quotes. Look at this, ATV insurance quotes. So then you ask yourself, hey, do we sell ATVs? You know, ATV insurance. In case we do, then that's a good keyword for us. Motorcycle insurance quote. Look at this online. That's a good helper word. People search for motorcycle insurance quote online because guess what? I don't want to go into an office. Look at this, off-road insurance. So these three tags are good ways to get ideas. So that's progressive. Let's look at Geico. You know, I'm going to take this search and I'm going to open up Internet Explorer over here. I'll show you how to do it in Internet Explorer. So let's go to Internet Explorer and let's put that in here. Okay, so same search. So let's look at Geico. So we'll just click on Geico here. Hold on, it's being obnoxious with me. No, I don't want that enabled. 
All right, so we're on the Geico page. In Internet Explorer, you can go View, you can go View, Source. Same thing. Now look for those three tags, Title, and then Meta Description and Keywords. I'll show you in a second how to find them if they're not obvious. So Geico, read what they say. Motorcycle insurance, quote, get online. See that word online again? We've seen that online in quote, obviously go with motorcycle insurance. Now let's go down and let's find their description. So go control F as in Frank, command, I think it's command F in the Mac, put in caret, or put in just description. Description, hit next and you'll find it. Now it doesn't always exist. Sometimes people don't use the tag, so if it's not there, don't worry about it. Now let's look at here. Get free, what do you think people search for? Free quotes, so that's a helper word. Get excellent coverage with the cheap. What do you think people search for? Most expensive motorcycle? No, they search for cheap. So this meta description, read it out loud to yourself and write on your keyword list ideas from your competitor. These become blog posts. These become uh, content to put on your product pages. These become you know just words to weave into your content based on what other people have realized our common Google searches. So free, excellent coverage, look at that, cheap, policy. Look up here at the meta keywords tag. And again, if you can't find it, go control F, type in keywords, and it'll find it for you. Now, not every website will use all three tags. Shout out to the people who know SEO. I understand that the keywords tag is technically ignored, but right now we're looking at just, hey, let's reverse engineer our competitors' keywords. So meta name keywords, look at this, motorcycle insurance rates, cheap, scooter, look at that synonym, scooter insurance, bike insurance. So this is a great way to find them. I'll do one more here. I have another search, let me get back over here to uh, this guy here. Uh, I have another one, industrial fans for agriculture. So this is a totally different search, very specific, industrial fans for agriculture. So what's your idea? We are a manufacturer of industrial fans and we target the agricultural market. So you gotta brainstorm a little bit to get the search. Then look at who shows up, one, two, three. Let's choose number two. This is one of my favorite companies because they have a great sense of humor. Bigassfans.com, so that's number two. That's our silver medalist, so to speak. Let's look at their page. So this is just one of their pages that they did a great job optimizing. It got to the top of Google. Let's right click, because we're in Firefox, view page source. In Internet Explorer, you'd go up to your menu. You've got to get into the HTML code. Now when you're in the HTML code, just go Control F, type in caret title, and it'll find it for you. Okay, so Powerfoil 8, that's obviously the brand. Now that's where you've got to be a detective. You've got to think about what they're saying here. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, you want to think about their detective here. That's their brand, isn't it? So that's a note to yourself. Hey, we need to optimize for our brands because people do search for your brand names. Industrial, remember we started with agricultural. So hey, that's another optimized word, industrial, agricultural. Look at this, ceiling fans. So you're sitting there with Bob and Susie, your coworkers, and you're working on your keyword list. And you say, hey, Bob, do we sell ceiling fans? Yes, we do. You write that keyword down on your list. Now let's see, let's look for their description tag. So again, sometimes I just don't even look at the code. I just do Control F, Control F. If I look up right down here, it's a little bit different on each browser. Put in description and it'll find it for you. Description. Now, Meta Description Powerful 8 is a heavy duty ceiling fan. So this is where I like read them out loud and you'll kind of go, oh yeah, that's a good keyword. Ceiling fan, industrial grade. What do you think people search for? Industrial grade components, industrial grade fans. Industrial and agriculturalists available in 12, 16, 20. Don't you think people, oh my goodness, our 20 foot agricultural fan has broken. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna run to Google and I'm gonna type in 20 foot agricultural fans. Those are great keyword ideas. And let's see if they have the keyword plugin. Let's put in keywords. <coughs> It's not there. A lot of people don't use that tag, so it's not there. You can't steal it. You can't use it. Let's do one more real quick. So you can see the way the process. The process is type into Google logical keywords. Look at your top three winners. Your gold, silver, bronze. Go look at one of those winners. Open that web page up. Don't look at this stuff. 
go view source, look at their title tag, agricultural fans, look at their keywords tag, Agri this is a great one, look at this, agricultural fans, wall mount, oscillating, pedestal, blower, what's a synonym for fan, blower. So this competitor has done the hard work for you of helping you build out that keyword list. Now in other parts of the classes I teach, I'm going to explain volume and value and organization, but right now we're just get the words on paper. Get all the possible keywords and then we'll sort through the ones we really like and we'll throw away the ones we don't. There's your meta keywords, there's your meta description on tail, blower, ceiling mount, styles, etc. So these are great ways to steal competitors keywords. Okay, now let me go back to the class materials for this little video and I want to show you there's a nice little tool here that does a lot of this work, makes it a little bit cleaner for you. So you can put a website in here. This is not a Google tool, it's in my tool book. 8543 and hit submit and this tool will check the tags of a competitor. So you put a competitor's website in here and look at this. It puts them all nice and neat for you title, description, keywords, and then read these guys out loud, steal their keywords, and off you go. So that, my friend, is how to steal a competitor's keywords by looking at reverse source, by looking at source code. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to our channel if you're taking our class. Hip hip hooray, get going. Uh, enjoy it, it's a lot of fun, and I will be back on YouTube, I am sure, very shortly. Thank you so much for watching.